quite like this one. All the rest were rubbish by spastics, but this one's quite good. What's it all about? Well, that's the last judgment. Oh, yeah? Judgment day. And, you know. What's that? Well, that's the final day on earth when mankind will be judged for all the crimes they have committed and that. Right. And see who gets into heaven and who gets into hell and that. Yeah. What's the other place? Purgatory. Purgatory. Purgatory is kind of like that in betweeny place. You weren't really shit, but you weren't all that great either. Like Tottenham. Tottenham? Do you believe in all that stuff, Ken? Like the last judgment and the afterlife? And guilt and, and sins and hell and all that? I don't know what I believe. I was brought up believing certain things. I was brought up Catholic, which I've rejected, rejected more or less. <laughs> They're not, are they? Yeah, but the things you've been taught as a child, they never leave you, do they? So I believe in trying to lead a good life. It's like if there is an old lady carrying her shopping home. I don't try and help her to carry her shopping, but I'll certainly hold the door open for her and let her go out before me. Anyway, if you tried to help her carry her shopping, she'd probably just think you're trying to nick her shopping. Exactly. It's the world we live in today. And at the same time, at the same time, as trying to lead a good life, I have to reconcile with the fact that, yes, I have killed many people, well, not so many, and most of them were not nice people, apart from one person. Who was that? This fella, Danny Alaban's brother. He was just trying to protect his brother. Like you or, or I would. He was just a lollipop man. He came at me with a bottle. Mm. What are you gonna do? I shoot him down. No, I'm sorry. Someone comes at you with a bottle. In my book, like that's a deadly weapon. He's gotta take the consequences. I know that in my heart, but at the same time, he was trying to protect his brother. I know, but a bottle, that can kill you. That's a case of it's you or it's him. If, if he'd come at you with his bare hands, that'd have been different. Like, that wouldn't have been fair. Mm, but technically, someone's bare hands can kill you too. What if he knew karate, say? He said he was a lollipop man. Oh, he was a lollipop man. What's a lollipop man doing knowing fucking karate? I'm just saying. How old is he? About 50. What's a 50-year-old lollipop man doing knowing fucking karate? What, was he a fucking Chinese lollipop man? Of course not. Jesus, Ken, I'm trying to talk to you. I know what you're trying to talk about. I killed a little boy and you keep talking about fucking lollipop men. You didn't mean to kill a little boy. I know I didn't mean to do it. Because of me, a little boy is dead. And he'll never, he's not here now, and he'll never be here again. And you, you know, I mean, here in the world, not, not here in Belgium, although he might have wanted to come here when he's older. I don't fucking know why. But that's all because of me. He's dead because of me. And I, I'm trying to get my head around it, but I, I can't. I, I can't. I will always have killed that little boy. And th that's not ever going away. Ever. Um, unless maybe I go away. Go away where? Don't even think like that. <laughs> even then it mightn't go away. Jesus, looking at that fucking picture of torment in hell. I don't think I fucking needed that right now. The guy who painted that must be bonkers. Don't think like that, Ray. It'll get easy. It will. I think, I think that's the problem. I think that's the problem.